Yo, this is Cloudy101 with the distinguished uh, fans. Thank you so much. <laughs> I like that introduction. Uh, you like it, huh? So nice. nice one because we love your music here. We are your greatest fan. And I would start by asking you, uh, what brings you to Tanzania? Well, I mean, I just came here to connect with my fans. You know, I came here to to feel closer to, you know, people out here that have been supporting my music and, uh -huh. you know, that have been showing me love. So uh -huh. that's why I'm here, really. Uh -huh. uh, from Nigeria, how are they taking the music from here? Yes, yeah, it's, it's pretty good. They, uh, I mean, a few artists from here that are popping uh -huh. out in Nigeria, you know, the likes of Diamond, uh -huh. Vanessa and Day, uh -huh. uh, uh, Ali Kiva, you know. And I, obviously, because I have a Coke studio now, I had the opportunity to meet and vibe with uh, Joe McKinney. Nice one. So now he's my homie. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> people saw you, 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 you behind the scene pictures from Cox Studio and that yeah. triggers a lot of curiosity, a lot of questions. Yeah. First of all, how is the experience there? So nice, so, so nice. Uh, the, the, the mix of cultures, uh -huh. you know, the coming together of people from different backgrounds, you know, to make something magical. That mixture is, is, is very epic and I like the, the whole concept of it. Oh wow, nice. And uh, should we expect anything out of that uh, Cox Studio project with the between you and Joe McKinney? Of others? course, of course. Uh, we're now colleague, uh, it's my brother from another mother. So <laughs> definitely. Brother from another mother. My brother from another mother. <laughs> Even the blood is a normal thing. Yeah. So definitely in the narrative for sure. We're going to be working to guide on many more records mm -hmm. on our front. Mm -hmm. We want to inspire the future, okay. inspire the youth to be something strong in life. Okay. I hope you guys understand now uh, when he speaks on his own kind of English, you know? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so uh, let's talk about files uh, yeah. from the, was it the school boys? Oh, okay, well, the okay. transition all over from back to then. this <laughs> level. Yeah. How, what can you tell about it? Um, I think it was, it was a gradual growth and it was a, something that uh, had a lot of evolution in it from, from step to step to step oh, yeah. you know so it was uh, I think something that I enjoyed and you know growing as an artist is important you know it's always important so it's, it's a very nice thing and why is it not that you're not putting that much energy in promoting the acting part of you I am but um, the thing is maybe because I haven't been in too many films uh -huh. you know full length films I featured in two um, series, TV series, uh -huh. I featured in one major one, which is still ongoing actually. And it's actually very popular, you know, within the uh, Nigerian circle and even, even beyond. It's called Jennifer's Diary. Jennifer's Diary. Jennifer's Diary, yes, it's, it's quite popular. I guess it's about this beautiful chick who... <laughs> <laughs> it's, about, it's about a head, hairdressing salon. Uh -huh. And I'm working in the hairdressing salon. Uh -huh. And Jennifer is working in the hairdressing salon. Uh -huh. And I'm in love with Jennifer. Wow. The question now is about your closeness with her. It's extreme. And mm, that, yeah, we're very close. We're very close. Uh -huh. We're very close, yeah. And we do spend a lot of time together. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Working? Uh, it depends. It depends. It depends. It depends on it. what you mean by working. Okay. Because, uh, some people do something that they call work. Would you specify the kind of work that you do together? Uh, that are apart from the music it's side? Usually behind closed doors. Oh, yeah? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the fans should like, uh, in Swahili, we say Giongezen. <laughs> what does that mean? What does that mean? Uh, like you give, you fill in the blanks now. Fill, fill in the blanks. Yeah. You know, can't be anything. But seriously, not any romance between you now. Maybe I, I don't know. It's possible we, we may be romancing each other. Possible. Very possible. You never know. Possible. <laughs> Okay, so any new material that you brought especially for your Tanzania fans? No, not, not, uh, not to on this day, but just around about a week ago or so, uh -huh. I just released a new video uh -huh. for my track called Chardonnay Music. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh, featuring Poe and Chin. Uh -huh. So it's, uh, it's, it's on YouTube, you know, it's running on uh, TV channels that and everything. Classic Jam. Classic Jam, that's the one. Is that kind of a movie that... Sana. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? What is that mean? Like, Akari it's Sana. fire. It's dangerous. <laughs>
because you are a storyteller in most part of your music. Mm. You are a good writer. Mm. Uh, d- d- does anybody help you do so? No, at this moment, I'm not having anything like ghostwriter. Mm-hmm. But I myself, I ghostwriting for other people. Okay. Yeah. And did you do it for money? Did I do it for money? Did you that's, do it for money? That's a very good question. Mm-hmm. Um, not necessarily. Mm-hmm. Not, not up, to, up to this point. And how is that business of ghostwriting going down in, in Nigeria? It's going well actually, but it's it's usually kept on the low because artists are not readily accepting the fact that they're not writing their own stuff. I don't know why. <laughs> Everybody gets help. The biggest artists, do you, you know, do even a boss get help. Uh, it discredit the artist. Nope. I don't think it discredits the artist. I don't think so. I think you know everybody gets help at some point in time. You're doing music like this. You want to change direction. Understand? You don't want to go like this. You want to go like this. You want to bring in somebody that is very familiar to that area. I don't know if you're following me. I'm following you. Understand? Yeah. So that kind of is stuff now. Understand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's the compostor that you can get somebody that will render you assistant in that area. Understand? So that's really what happened. Okay, nice one. And my last question, and maybe the one general question that would be asked mostly about any artist from here that you are probably looking up to working with. Yeah, definitely Joe McKinney. Work, we're gonna work on more, more that stuff. That is done. Joe McKinney is done. <laughs> Who else? <laughs> uh, um, I, I want to work with Vanessa. Okay. Vanessa and Dave. Uh-huh. Uh, I'd love to work with Diamond as well. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, just I mean these guys definitely. Okay. Yeah. Because uh, we are winding up now. Uh, what would be your last? Uh, not last. What would be your word for you, our fans that are watching you via Clouds A? Well, for my fans out there, thank you very much for supporting Fast the Bad Guy. Keep on supporting, and you know, I'm never going to disappoint. We're going to keep putting out dope stuff. Yeah, I love you so much. Thank I, you. I remember that part, like, in fact, I already booked an aeroplane. <laughs> <laughs> I've already played that book on the aeroplane, understand? Because it's necessary. Uh-huh. If I haven't been, you know, I mean, it's it having feeling for you. She's in a state of emotional dispensation uh-huh. that didn't conducive to our weather, <laughs> understand? You need to make uh, the, the proper availability no, and preservation. That. You don't understand? <laughs> no, that one is another level. Uh-huh. <laughs> but again, my last, last question is about yeah. the, the language that you're using because yeah. most people find it funny and <laughs> at some point I believe it gives some difficulties to some of, of your fans yeah, to yeah. understand. Yeah. What are you doing about it and why are you twisting your English that way? <laughs> is, it is it one of the <laughs> accents that is... Yeah, it's actually uh, a, a, a very, very strong Nigerian accent from the Yoruba tribe in Nigeria. <laughs> yeah, so it's a, it's like you a very. Understand. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand. That's it. Emphasize on your age. Uh-huh. Understand. Uh-huh. They don't understand. The whole, uh, they don't understand. The they don't understand. Understand. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, um, you know that is. So it's just that element of humor in the music. Uh-huh. I put it there so that you know people can, you know, take take something funny from you know every song that I make but uh, you know the the majority of my tracks you know are a mixture of you know regular English yeah. pigeon English so I think my fans can still follow even if they get lost in between somewhere but generally speaking you can still follow the theme of the song then you know spirit well, of the they music have they have to understand how you will listen attentively they will still understand but surely you gonna get a bad time hitting on a chick no, no. from this side <laughs> So yeah, that was it. Uh, this the distinguished fans, as I said, uh, live and direct to this one-on-one beautiful interview. One-